question. So, so if I were to ask you, right, yeah. Ben, what does it take to be a top, top player then? Well, I think beyond skills, we, we've often say this a lot, it's about the mentality. Uh, mm. When you have a good mentality, you know, when, when the going gets tough, yeah? yeah. Uh, when the going gets tough, the you, t- you're able to... The tough gets going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's yeah, damn cliche, yeah, though. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm going to change this. <laughs> the next line, uh, All right. be able to pick yourself up and, and instead of, you know, fight against the tough, no, you toughen yourself and, and be that one. So be a Beckham. Four, four, two, dudes. And this is another episode of Four, Four, Two, Dudes. I am Ben. I'm John. Together with the dudes that bring you Four, Four, Two. And today we're going to be focusing on a lot of players. I think players must be mentioned because they have done greatness in the world of football. Some, 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 some. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see you for 90 minutes off. Welcome to 90 Minutes Of. And in this segment, we'll be focusing on players in particular. Not just matches, but more of players and the sort of impact they have for the team and especially for the game. And I think we, mm-hmm. we're going to start off with one player. You know, I think we, oh, we've yes. mentioned him quite a, a few times as well. Uh, and, and I think he was one of the most surprising transfer for me. For me, why is he it was, a surprising well, I mean, I, I thought he would have come to the Premier League. With Liverpool. Okay, maybe not Liverpool. But anyway, I would have just thought he'd come to the Premier League. yeah. Uh, but instead, he went to Real Madrid. And at his age, we... Well, not we, but I think majority of the fans would not have thought he would have impressed this much. I we, agree. We, we, yeah, know I his, agree. We, we know his skills. We know his skills for sure. Mm-hmm. But we, we didn't expect him to be this good and to be maintaining that consistency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that player is none other than Jude Bellingham. Wow. What look a, at that. Look at that. What a player. That's all I can say. Look at that passion what there. A oh my gosh. I, I think beyond the passion, he could be, in my opinion, uh, the best English footballer to step into a Real Madrid shirt. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm just saying that. Uh, I don't think Jonathan Woodgate did very well. Uh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. What a debut uh, by Jonathan uh, Woodgate there. Uh, but, uh, uh, David Beckham. Okay. I think okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, let's, I, before Bellingham, yeah. I think Beckham was the best yeah. English yeah, player yeah, to yeah, play for yeah. Real. No, no, I'm not but now that. I, I, I kind of agree that yeah. Bellingham is... No, but, okay, I'm not sure if it's still too early to say because he's just 10 games into his Real career. But 10 goals. Yeah, but <laughs> not just 10 goals. He has 13 goal yeah. contributions. Yeah, yeah. So in that sense, he has already exceeded CR's... Um, Start to your record, yeah, right? Yeah. To, 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 to his time in Real. But to say that he is the best English player to ever play yeah. for Real, I don't know. I, I still, I actually think it's too early. Uh, too early. It's, okay. it's still too early to, okay. to tell. Okay. But what I must say is this guy, Jude Bellingham, I think he is destined for success. And, and I want to put it out here. I think he is, along with Haaland, like Erling Haaland, the front runners for the Ballon d'Or in the years to come. And do you think, now I'm just going to throw this right at okay. you, do you think, you know, for our era, it has always been uh, Messi and CR7. Yeah. Do you think now, um, as we progress further in our journey to football, it's going to be Haaland and Bellingham? I think they'll be the front runners. Okay. However, I really hope not to see a repeat of just two players like CR and ah, Messi. Uh, okay. CR, yeah, CR and yeah, Messi. Yeah, yeah. I hope we do see a, a, a wider variety of players. Yeah. A bigger pool of names. A bigger pool of uh, superstars in okay. a sense. So, so you, the, obviously, Haaland and Bellingham will be up there, you know, and one yeah, more to yeah. talk. Mbappe, obviously, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. How I just think that he needs to leave the French League. Oh, yeah. He needs to leave the. He he's twenty. To. He's already twenty five. I think yeah. he has wasted. In my opinion, he's probably wasted a good a good number of years in the French league. Okay. He needs to be in the the other leagues. Whether it's the Premier League, whether it's the La Liga. Right. I think he needs to to go to those leagues to really cement his status as one of the the top players. Yeah. Uh, in the world, I don't deny that he's a great player. I mean, he has been fantastic for France and on in the, on the international mm. scene, but. I think if you really want to talk about consistency, if you want to talk about you know doing everything, winning everything, or yeah. you have to go to the best leagues in the world, and that means you need to go to the Premier League, you need to go to La Liga, yeah. probably the Bundesliga as well. So 
It is what it is. I mean, it, it is it is what it is. No, I correct, correct. You. I think that's why all these players are are, are, are rising up. Yes, uh, we talk about Haaland, you know, the yes. other players as well, uh, and, and Bellingham is definitely one of them. I think when when these players are given a chance to perform at what we what 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 some may call uh, the top leagues, you know, yeah. uh, then you know not only are they able to show their ability, but they're able to sort of like what you said, uh, cement their status as one of the mm. top footballers of their generation. So so if I were to ask you, right, yeah. Ben, what does it take to be a top? top player then? Well, I think beyond skills, we, we've often say this a lot, it's about the mentality. Uh, mm. When you have a good mentality, you know, when, when the going gets tough, yeah? yeah. Uh, when the going gets tough, the you, t- you're able to... The tough gets going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's yeah, damn cliche yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's why I'm going to change this <laughs> the next time. Uh, All you're right. Gonna be able to pick yourself up and, and instead of, you know, fight against the tough, no, you toughen yourself and, and be that one. So be a Beckham. Yeah, <laughs> we're not promoting the show but yeah you know I mean you gotta I mean like like him yeah you, yeah like, yeah you yeah. gotta pick yourself up just fight against the odds show people you know if they've been they've been the doubting fight you. against the odds yeah. huh? the odds you mean the odds I said odds oh. yeah you see fight, yeah, fight against the odds yeah uh, and then in, in that sense you know you, you, you can cement yourself so in my opinion mentality is gonna be very important um, Do you think that mentality is the crucial element yeah. to be a top, top player? Because mentality is derived from discipline. And therefore, uh-huh. with discipline, you're able to to show up for, for your training. And that helps with the physical aspect. And uh, the consistency. Yeah, and, and that helps with the consistency. Because you have the discipline to overcome all of these. And like rightfully, you said Beckham. I'm, I'm sure there are other players equally there as well. And, 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 and I just want to say out there, I'm going to name a player that I, I felt uh, had a lot of mentality. Uh, I don't think anyone's expecting me to say this name. Don't laugh. I think Lukas Podolski to me has one of the better mentality uh, for the German squad. And uh, I, I wouldn't deny that. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, I just want to say it out there because I've been watching you know Germany since young, and, and Lukas Podolski straight away comes to mind when it comes to mentality because wh- whichever squad he belongs to may not play well, but he, he shows up, and in, in especially for Germany, he shows up even. So I think players these days they have to have that show up mentality. Um, if if you had a bad day, that doesn't mean the bad day equates to what? So in, in your sense, so would mentality help to kind of cover up some, you know, lack of talent in yeah, a sense? Yeah, 100% for sure. So talent is definitely yeah. one, yeah, yeah, one, ta- one is definitely one key ingredient, course, isn't it? But the mentality is what is more important. It's what brings them to the next level. Correct. Correct? Yeah. So is mentality is one thing. So, so you mentioned about, you know, it's about discipline and all. So if, I mean, in these days, I mean, everybody talks about having an elite mentality. Yeah. The first person, more often than not, that comes to most people's minds or even the, the the name that comes out of people's mouths is Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh yeah, right. I, I believe he's someone that has his own chef. Yep. He has his own personal trainer. He has his own masseur he, and everything. Right. He has his own gym in his own house. A, a strict regime. That Very strict follows. regime yeah. and all the, the discipline and everything. And I and I believe um, Haaland. Haaland actually tries to adopt. Seen? Adopt, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I think Haaland yeah. tries oh. to adopt the same methods and yeah. all. I mean, at the end of the day, Haaland, Ronaldo is Haaland's idol, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you will want to follow and you know, mirror what your idol does for being successful, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of like a, a tried and tested formula, it isn't is, it? it? So is, that's why they is. want to form. For, f- yeah. They want to, to 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 try to mirror that and to do that. I think is crazy, but I believe this is exactly why Ronaldo at thirty eight this year. Yeah. He is still banging in the goals. He's still yeah, yeah, yeah. granted and, and, is in the Saudi league, but but you know he's still achieving exactly. And 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 you know I think back then maybe if you watch it early two thousands, we've never expect a player to be. Don't even talk about thirty eight. 35, it's very hard to find a player that's around that age to be still playing in such a consistent level. Not just that. Yeah. To maintain that kind of fitness. Yeah, the fitness, the body all. Huh? Oh my goodness. See, yeah. at 38, Ronaldo's physique yeah, 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 is yeah. still... I it's almost agree. like it's still a specimen. Isn't Just like uh, Thiago Silva, got to quickly drop your name there. Look, look <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah. almost 40, yeah, isn't exactly. it? Oh my goodness. So I just want to say out there. Yeah. Wow. So, okay, so we thought we spoke about Bellingham, we yeah. spoke about Haaland. Are there any other players in the current, or at least the, 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 the up-and-coming players, who do you think also possess the same kind of elite mentality that is necessary to become a top, top player? Well, I mean, we have, we have mentioned some of these players before. Uh, you know, we talk about, uh, you know, the controversy that, that surrounded mm. this, this player recently. Uh, uh, Ossohain I think I think you know to me lah. I think is uh, is it Ossim? Yeah, Ossim. Yeah, I believe okay. he, his mentality is quite good. As I've said, he overcame that that racism thing, and even for your own club to do that thing towards you. I mean, most people go, huh? I mean, why would you do that? Uh, am I not your player? But he he turned that around. Mm. You know, uh, certainly you know he 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 had that, and I think there were many players. Um, 
Liverpool one I cannot pronounce lah. The Subobuda Shalai, whatever. It's Dominic Subosalai. <laughs> okay, Dominic Subosalai. Yeah. Anyway, I, 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 I believe he has a good mentality. Also, I, I agree. I, I'm not a Liverpool fan, but you can see the way he he wants to try for the ball. Go, I mean, he's trying to go for the ball. He's trying to to steal it. He's trying to get it, score a goal. As long as you can see the passion. Yep. I think pa- that that comes from that boys down to passion for the club, passion for the game, and mentality. Because I think that that kind of rubs on the on your teammates. Does, right? That, does, that in a does. sense is what true leadership is yeah, all yeah, about. But does, how you actually does. influence people, not by not verbally, but through your actions. I, I believe correct? so. Yeah. And these are the players like Haaland. I mean, if you see Haaland striving, you look at the way Bellingham plays for Real Madrid nowadays. You cannot not be inspired. In fact, uh, infectious. Correct. Yeah, his very his. Infectious. I agree. The, the infectious yeah, is yeah, the word. Yeah, I think yeah. they kind of. They kind of you they know, do, have they the do. Kind of effect you on know, their, and, their and that's why you know um, from the players whether you're you're in the front uh, in the middle or whether you're just defending from the flanks or maybe you could be the goalkeeper you know like Unana uh, then your mentality <laughs> has to be strong because you have to produce that sort of mentality uh, because again as I've said it's infectious and that rubs around people so is it just it's not just on the field isn't it no. It's, as, as, it's also it, it, how it's, you it's conduct off. yourself off it's the off. field, right? It's definitely off. And especially with social media yeah. these days, yeah. it's, it, this off the field behavior is even more. It's how would I say it, it holds even more importance, isn't it? It's true. And I and, and if I can just throw my final comment on this one, yes, I gotta say uh, he just retired, so I gotta give hats off to him. One of the Chelsea's greatest, in my opinion, uh, Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Uh, he he was a player with a good mentality, if not for the injuries. Oh, we'll go into that a little bit. Yeah, we'll go into that a little bit later, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll go into that a little bit later. later. But I just but want to quickly drop it. Yeah, I just want to drop one more player's name. I mean, Alfonso Davis of Bayern Oh, yeah, Munich. I mean, wow. I think he is another classic example yeah, yeah, of what is. it really takes to be an elite mentality. Canadian, right, boy? He's Canadian, he's and, Canadian. And, and because, uh, but he yeah. was from a Ghan- Ghanaian refugee right, camp. He was right. born in Gan- okay. Ghana, right? Okay. Then uh, he he managed to make his way up into to to the football, the leagues and all, and... It's, it's, it's players actually I quite like African players because of the way they try to make a living out of it okay. and the way they appreciate their lives and we look at the likes of I mean Mane, Salah how they are Kante, giving back yeah. Kante is doing the same thing I don't know I think there's a lot of things to be, to be mm. learned from all these wow. all these players so I mean the young players nowadays we especially I I'm, I'm I don't I don't mean any disrespect to English players but I think a lot of a lot of them are overhyped no because it's the lifestyle correct so in a sense, I think there's a lot of learning to be done by uh, footballers these days, young yeah. footballers. I think they need You're to be absolutely in. right. I think they should watch. Uh, again, I'm not trying to promote the show, <laughs> but I've watched the show, and I think we need to bring back this kind of attitude right. and this kind of mentality. Mm-hmm. You know, if you haven't watched it, you should go and watch the the, the, the Beckham's uh, Beckham's yeah. Netflix show. Yeah. Really, you should just go and watch it because I think this is a this is a show that every single aspiring footballer should watch. Because, because you know, as we've said, it's infectious. And it's I infectious. His mentality there will, will infect the Correct. Place. And that show actually inspired McTominay. Right. So apparently oh, McTominay watched the whole series. He, he actually he completed ah. the four-part series just the night before the game. And then, the, you know... And then he went on to... He was so inspired by... He actually, the moment wow. he was caught onto the pitch, he scored a brace for United and then they won the game to one against Brentford. So... Yeah, okay. what's not to say he wouldn't inspire? Yeah. I hope that every single footballer out there, or at least aspiring footballer, please go and watch the the show. You should. Yeah. Yeah, and and you, you know what? Maybe yeah. Then I I I'll call the United camp. Show your players this video. Maybe you will. Start. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm just saying. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know, they'll start becoming all. Sancho, we are talking Be- about you. Anyway, Beckham clones. Yeah. So anyway, that that, that wraps up the the first segment called 90 minutes of where we basically discuss what it takes to be your top top. Player. We'll be moving on to the next segment called What's What with, with Who's Who. And we'll see. We're going to be a top player. I'm going mm-hmm. to watch the show soon. You haven't watched? No, I haven't watched. Serious? I really haven't watched. What? I haven't watched. Hello. And welcome to this segment we call What's What with Who's Who. Now, early on in our previous segment, uh, we talked about this player we want to bring him back for this particular segment as well because there's something I just want to say more about him and that is none other than Eden Hazard. Now, I think, you know, John, earlier on, I, I mentioned about him, his mentality. I do believe he has a good mentality, the way he dribbles, the way he moves around the ball, the way he knows how to find that goal. I think it's a good mentality. But I think, yeah. Carry on, carry on, saw, carry I, on. I saw that breathing in. But I just want to say, 
if he didn't leave us for Real Madrid, he would have cemented it better. That's just what I'm going to keep saying. I really had hope. He had never made the move uh, from Chelsea to Real Madrid. But that was his yeah. dream. It, it was. It, it was, was his dream it move was. to Real, but unfortunately, I'm it didn't pretty sure he probably turned out the way. No, yeah. I, I'm going to disagree with you come, over there come, with come. regards to Hazard having a good yeah. mentality. Yeah. Because from what I see from Hazard yeah. and based on how he plays the game, yeah. he plays it in a very nonchalant way. Yes, yes. You know, it's not kind of... Yes, it's inspiring in some sense, yeah. but it's kind of like Oh, just it's because he's talented. That's it. Yeah, no. that's full stop. No, because of talent, yeah, yeah. full no, stop. No, no, no. I don't think he it's is true. someone that really has. Because in my opinion, if because of his talent, and we agreed in the previous segment that the men, having an elite mentality will really make them into a top top player, yeah, right? Yeah, really yeah. the best of the best. Yeah. And I think Hazard is one of those players with the potential to be really one of the best. Oh, he's in a generation sure. where if if Hazard had the same mentality yeah. as Ronaldo yeah. or uh, as the some of the players that we mentioned yeah. earlier, yeah. I really believe that he would have yeah. dethroned yeah. Ronaldo and Messi or at least uh, you know kind of you know, not you know, rather break that, that yeah. I wouldn't call it a monopoly but, but the duopoly yeah, yeah. of both duopoly, Ronaldo okay. and Messi right yeah, yeah. he would have break, broken it it's not Neymar Neymar is another player yeah. full of talent but I think his mentality is a little bit lacking yeah it's not just like I don't even think it's that correct so I would disagree with you that yeah. you know Hazard has a good yeah, yeah, mentality yeah, yeah, yeah. but what I would okay. agree with you yeah. is yep. Oh, it's such a shame to see it Hazard is, it is. retiring at age 32 in this in yeah. a modern context where 32 is basically where some players players just started. It could be still prime. Most players, they really shine after 30. Mm-hmm. Ronaldo's one mm-hmm. example. Yeah, Messi's yeah, another example. Yeah, yeah. Ibrahimovic is another oh, example. Yeah, Ibrahimovic, a lot of them yeah. are really shining in, the, in, their, in, in their 30s. Benzema is another, in, yep. another example. So for Hazard to retire at 32, I think it's really, really a shame that, that you know he, he's gone down this road. I really do not know what happened yeah. Um at Real but for whatever reasons that didn't work out at Real it just derailed him you know I think in some sense his happy-go-lucky kind of attitude probably helped him you know come to terms with retirement Mm -mm. right so I'm keen to see what what you know, he's going to do what next. What happens next? Whether he's going to stay in football, whether he's not going to stay in football, whether he's going to start an academy, or whether he's going to make out with the ball boy that he kicked, you know, many, oh, many years oh ago. Oh, dear Lord, I forget I one. mean, we'll we never know, yeah, right? Yeah, we'll never know. Yeah, so, so, but... Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's quite sad to see to Hazard because it to is, be very honest, is, I think this guy deserves to be mentioned as one of the, if not the, best footballers in the Premier League, his, yeah, in Premier League oh, history. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely. I think to me, uh, just going back to what you said, you know, his nonchalant mm. attitude. I think that's mentality right there. Uh, because you know, just like Ibrahimovic, they know that they. Well, I I watched an interview, you know, uh, that was oh, done okay. with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yes, and he said, if I go into the field as, as thinking that I'm God, uh, then he is like God, you know, like he doesn't need to to tell the world he's good. He knows he's that good. And I I I, I like his final line. Uh, where he ended well at least that short clip where he said if, if he was going up against a, a, a furry fury yeah the boxing dude mm-hmm. uh, he knows that he's not gonna win the guy you know but he says he's gonna go in feeling like God as well so I think so again it's yeah. all about the attitude right yeah, yeah, about the is, mentality it is it is, it is it is so I think similarly going towards uh, Hazard I think Hazard had that attitude you know he, he knew he could outpace out dribble a lot of players yes yeah so I think he, he didn't really have to show it and I think that's mentality right there. He knew he, gonna, he, okay, was, he okay, was gonna get you. Okay, yeah, fair but, enough. But I agree with you wholeheartedly. It is such, uh, uh, it's just such a, a sad. I don't even know what word I'm gonna use. I wouldn't say it's disappointing, but it's just really sad to see him retire at a very young age. Because I, I, I you know, I, I love that Chelsea. Uh, you talked the, the yeah. lights about uh, Ramirez, Oscar, Hazard. <sighs> I mean, these are the people that I thought, oh, they're going to get us something. And, and they did. You know? They did, they did. Yeah, they, they did. did, they did. Yes. And, and, and I like that. Mm. Uh, that was the Chelsea that, that I, I, I missed. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the same today. No, so I, I have a yeah. question to show to you right true, now. True. He has been a free agent for so long. Exactly. Right? I want to know something too. Why didn't Chelsea yeah, why didn't sign him on at least the short term? I'm, 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 Do you I'm, think that he could have still made a difference to the, Chelsea well, this season? The theory is because we're focusing a lot on the young players, it makes zero sense for us to buy or at least you know get someone that's older. Correct. Although, but, although, although I think with an older player, it would have brought some experience. It would it would galvanize the the locker room. Uh, it it would it would somewhat uh, rally the boys together because because he was with Chelsea before. Yes, and he did a lot of things with Chelsea. So I thought yes. by bringing him back, you know, short term. I don't know what's the short term now. Maybe half the season, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think it would have worked for Chelsea. I think so too. I mean, that that was what came to my mind. That was what came to mind. When we're so goddamn bloody injury prone, 
I think I think you know. Well, that's because of your trainer. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, yeah. So no, no, no. Speaking of one, one Chelsea legend too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna call him the next guy, I, Chelsea I, legend. But I, I know you, you yeah, call yeah, him. Yeah, but I, I, yeah. I call him a legend still because okay, okay. because of the, of the of the dramatics he has with okay. Chelsea. You know, yeah, yeah, Bicycle yeah, kick yeah, and all that. But this one really shocked me. Now I, I know he's tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks like a model and all that. Yes. Right? saying that. But I didn't know he can be a goalkeeper. We have a picture that we're about to show you. Yes, that it's coming up right now. Goalkeeper. I mean, take a look at that. How the hell did he not play as a goalkeeper when he was younger? Because he looked like a goalkeeper right there. Look, if, if you look at the, the bottom picture, it bo- looks like a goalkeeper. That is bravery. I mean, heroic antics right there. That is bravery expected exactly. of a goalkeeper, exactly. not of a striker. I mean, I don't even know a lot of goalkeepers who can do the same thing. I will agree. I I, I will even say this. Our, our former, well, current, former, well, yeah, former, current, Kepa will not likely do that. I would say uh, Onana sometimes. wouldn't do that. I mean, I, that I, as well. I, I would know, I would know. But right. I'm just saying, uh, Giroud, no, it's not, a goalkeeper, but maybe he could be. But from, but the, the from interesting what I know, thing, the not. interesting thing was, <laughs> he was actually named in the yeah. team of the week as a goalkeeper. Uh, he was, uh, he was. Don't bluff. Really. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding oh, you. Sh- you. You go and take wow. a look. He was okay. named, <laughs> and apparently, AC Milan actually wow. put on the official website. Wow. And in also in in their in their stalls, yeah, the goalkeeper jersey of Giroud, oh. number nine, oh. Giroud, and uh, the goalkeeper jersey, and it was the highest sales. Among all the keepers, apparently. Because he's shitting me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Juru I mean, wow. Isn't, I mean, Juru. Juru well who, done, Juru. Well isn't done. a goalkeeper. <laughs> no, look at that. Look I mean, at that. But he looks like. He looks like a keeper. This and that. I'm saying, yeah. He's probably quite all rounded now. He should maybe change his position next. Yeah. Anyway, I, I mean, when he gets a little bit older, maybe he can consider, you know, being. being a goalkeeper. He's already 37. That's still young. Look at Ronaldo. Th- going to be 39 soon. Look at Thiago Silva. <laughs> anyway. So, so you know, it, it, it's good to see that. I mean, why it's for laughs, but if we if we actually watch the way he saved, I think it was brilliant. Uh, the way, like, you know, we were talking before this, the way he, he was holding on to the ball, he wasn't letting it go easily. I think... Correct, correct. The, the, his technique, yeah. his technique was... was Pretty much yeah. how a, go- goalkeeper, a should. goalkeeper should. A decent goalkeeper Yes, the, yes. I, I totally agree there. You know, speaking of, of, of Giroud, I, I just want to move on to the next topic. Okay. Uh, so as you know, Giroud actually kind of made his name for, for this French club oh, called it? Montpellier. Oh, okay. Uh, and with regards to Montpellier, I think something that was quite um, sad that took place over the weekend. You? Um, if you're going to show on screen right now, what happened was that the goalkeeper, I believe is for Clermont. Okay. Which is the opposition um, in the game between Clermont and Montpellier? Montpellier. Okay. The goalkeeper, what's his name? Maury Dell. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Maury Dell. Okay. He was injured by an exploding flare huh? that was thrown onto the pitch. So if you look at the picture over there. Wait, wait, thrown by who? A fan. What the? Wow. So you know how fans always like to yeah, throw yeah, flares yeah, 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 yeah. On the, or, onto or, the pitches or, or, and all? Or he was just walking. So if you look at the top left picture, Alamat. you see that, that, that cloud of smoke over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a flare. I mean, I, I saw the video. It was. Right. Just literally just boom. Oh dear. And he immediately he fell down. I mean I probably fair. from the shock. Wow. But it's just I don't know. When I saw that I was and the and the, the game was eventually abandoned by the way. Oh rightfully so. And I, I think they should no, no, I, I mean, think they, it was the right should, thing to should, do. They should No do but I, I don't know. I just think why are we still allowing all these things to take place yeah, in the stadium? I mean you see, it goes back to what you said, you know, I think uh, two segments or one segment ago. You said uh, Mbappe has to leave the, the, the French league to go to the others league. Uh-huh. And this probably just enhances it more, in my opinion. I know. I, 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 why, I, I, why I, we, correct. I yeah. mean, I don't think there's really much of a linkage, but yeah. in terms of player safety, I mean, we are we are the age where this is probably commonplace in the, in the, in in yesteryears, right? I mean, I've seen it in the Serie A, you know, to the point where it's got so bad to the point where the fans had to be, in a way, caged up uh, in the Serie A in, in, back in the, the the late '90s and the early 2000s when, when I was watching Serie A, um, consistently. That was exactly what happened in those stadiums, you know. And I think right now. They should at least. I know if you do it in this sensitive work work generation, it's going to you know create a lot of criticism and not not and whatnot. But I'm sure you can do something about you know bringing allowing the flares to come in or at least you know things that can actually hurt the players. Security check. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you look at what happened. We we spoke about the thing that happened in Holland between Ajax and Feyenoord and all. I think I think the authorities have to do a lot more to protect the players, mm. right? Because you know we're we're all well, I mean them as well. We're all coming together to watch football. Correct. It's all for entertainment. It's all to you know to pass some yeah. time. 
let's let's make it a peaceful one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean there, if there, you want to boo, that's okay. Exactly. No? But, there, but there's so many someone. things going on in the world. Just allow us to escape from all these things yeah. and enjoy a game of football. Exactly. That, that's really, as a fan, that's all. I, that's really all I ask for, Correct. to be honest. That's all we want. Yeah. Football. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. So so th- I think that wraps up our that that, that n- nothing else, right, Ben? No, no, nothing else, lah. No. Yeah, so well, once again, that wraps up our episode uh, today where we spoke about what it really takes to be a, a top, 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 player. top player. Now, I'm just really curious what you guys think. Now, whether you agree with us, the mentality is really the key ingredient to be a top, top player, or you think something else, whether you think just talent is enough. I don't know. Just let us know in the comment section. Uh, just feel free to, to, to share with us your own thoughts of what it takes to be a top, top player player and here's uh, once again we are the 442 dudes from Singapore right here in Tampines right not Tampines as yeah, Ben always yeah, call yeah, it yeah. alright so this is Ben I'm John and we will see you guys next week Zai Tian <laughs>